Some of the men of B-Ship may tell you John Hill is the most important man of their six-man team. Not only is he a competent firefighter, he's also their cook. He's also a pretty good pool player. John's a 14-year veteran of the Tampa Fire Department, but the life of a fireman has been with him all of his 35 years. Well, as long as I can remember, uh, I've been going to the fire station when my dad was on a fire department in Detroit, and uh, it's, it's really been a lifelong ambition for me. John is not the only one who has a family history in firefighting. Jerry Bradford's father is a fireman in Oklahoma. The men of B-Shifted Engine Company 11 have other similarities as well. They're all married, and they're all fathers of two children. Their camaraderie is high, and they take pride in how well they work together as a team, even in the less glamorous duties. That's one of the ironies in the life of a fireman or paramedic. One minute, you can be saving lives. Ten minutes later, you can be washing floors. You have to. If you come back and think about it, you go nuts. You really will. In rescue, Jerry Valdez sees more human agony and death in one year than most of us see in a lifetime. The stress is ever-present, and some memories never fade. Well, the ones that really get me are children. I've had, especially now that I've got two kids, uh, I had one little girl that burned up in a fire with a mini bike. They had started inside of a house, and the gasoline ignited, and I crawled over her trying to go through the house, and when I realized what I had crawled over, cleaned my mask off, uh, her face was just like eyelids and mouth and everything was just removed uh -huh. and I just never forgot that one. So why do these men do what they do? John Hill may say it best. There is a sense of pride when you've done something and you, you've done it the best that you can and uh, you can look back and say well uh, we saved this man's life or we saved this woman's life and, and if it wasn't for the fact that we were there when we were they wouldn't be here today. On this day, the men of B-Shift of Engine Company 11 will respond to 13 calls. A little higher than normal, but something they expect. It's a Friday, and the full moon phase is only a day away. This is only the second call of the day, an accident involving a car and truck. There were no injuries, just frazzled nerves. But 28 minutes later, another call comes in. This one is far more serious. When they arrive, they find an elderly woman. She's not breathing. And like a well-oiled machine, the rescue squad and firemen begin to try and save her life. Everybody knows his job, and not a beat is missed. At the hospital, the woman eventually dies. But for the men of B-Shift, life goes on. Over the next 21 hours, they'll respond to 10 more calls. A truck with overheated brakes. A man who has received a bad electrical shock. In the early morning hours of the next day, an elderly woman suffering chest pains has to be taken to the hospital. And with less than three hours of sleep under their belts, they will end their 24 hours by responding to a single car accident. A car has overturned on an I-275 off-ramp. Miraculously, there were no serious injuries.
470. Get that going, Bob. We'll get her two bike parts. Uh, okay, let me have a sheet to cover her up a little bit. Can you help me get this thing down? Yeah. Can you get going down? Thank you. 